There is no doubt that Elon Musk can make the impossible possible. To get the best understanding of Tesla's flying vehicle, we will have a deep dive into the greater possibilities the company had to introduce this type of automobile. So, could this be a game changer? With Tesla, Elon Musk has led the world toward electric vehicles, and since SpaceX, he has led the world toward space travel. So would he be interested in the halfway point? Flying cars? Since he already built one EV with gull wings, the Model X, especially around Silicon Valley, where virtual takeoff vehicles and urban air mobility seems to be the next big thing. It has been the subject of intense speculation, although Musk has not publicly expressed much interest in such a project. So do you think this is possible? Considering what Musk told Bloomberg's Max Chafkin a few years ago, he said, Obviously, I like flying things, but it's difficult to imagine the flying car becoming a scalable solution. Nonetheless, Musk has been keen to emphasize that the updated Tesla Roadster will be able to fly because it uses thrusters from SpaceX, even if only briefly. Also, is Tesla considering bringing a flying vehicle to market? Further, what happens when an electric car and rocket manufacturer work together on a project? Can you imagine the results? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and share the video as well. If they are both Elon Musk, you can expect both an electric car and an electric plane to be developed. We all know that space and technology enthusiasts have always been stunned by Elon Musk's insane ideas. And once again, the upcoming Tesla Roadster has left people in a state of awe with its latest flying vehicle concept. Meanwhile, Tesla has had a win-win situation with the design. Over the last few years, Tesla has accomplished some insane targets that seemed impossible at first. Here are a few of its recent achievements. Musk confirmed just a year ago that Tesla has produced 1 million electric cars, which is an amazing achievement. With this, EVs have permanently changed people's perceptions of them. Moreover, it seems that they want fuel-powered vehicles to lose their throne. In addition, Tesla's Model S broke the 400-mile range barrier with a range of 402 miles on a full charge, making it the first electric vehicle to achieve this milestone. Furthermore, Tesla has helped America acquire the lowest-cost solar panels in the world. Moreover, Tesla is now planning to focus on the implementation of more ambitious plans. These will be the Gigafactories being built in Germany and Texas, which will build the stainless steel Cybertruck, Robocabs, and the anticipated second-generation Roadster. Where did this all start in Tesla's timeline? As Tesla's first car, the Roadster has a long history thanks to its role as the company's first produced car in 2006. Even with the rumor of a battery-powered laptop car spreading all around the market, most people thought the idea was ridiculous. Lotus dispelled all these doubts once it was launched, with a 244-mile range on a full charge for the lightweight Lotus architecture-based car, and this was followed by the improved Roadster 1.5, powered by Ford. 4.6 seconds were all it took to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour. Now that's something unheard of. Furthermore, the device produces zero tailpipe emissions and is powered by lithium-ion rechargeable batteries. Isn't it wonderful how Tesla created a high-performance vehicle that emits no emissions and uses no oil? However, only about 2,400 of these luxury cars were sold, and you probably don't even remember them anymore. Why is that? Well, initially, the device cost around $109,000, and that is more than the average consumer would want. Further, it was in 2012 when Tesla abruptly ended its production when it decided that it should focus on its Model S sedan which received decent reviews from automobile critics. This endeavor taught Tesla a valuable lesson, and even if it wasn't the ideal experience for them, it certainly helped the company establish a solid foundation. Most of us hate traffic, and Musk claims a flying Tesla Roadster will be available in the future. Since then, Musk has been looking for a long-term solution, and he has come up with the idea of a flying car. While this is not the most up-to-date of ideas, it has always been on his checklist. Musk first opened about the possibility of launching a flying car and started this debate, even though it appeared to be yet another eccentric idea coming from the maverick billionaire. He emphasized that he was serious. Additionally, a GIF he shared in 2019 showed a levitating car with a blue light shooting from the wheels, suggesting that the company's new model would do that. He used SpaceX technology to make it capable of flight to explain how his concept worked. However, the concept was regarded with skepticism by many and doubled its implementation in reality. 
Besides, who would have imagined a car flying in the open sky? Musk, on the other hand, blew all of those bubbles when he announced that Tesla Roadster would be launched by 2023. According to Tesla, the project was originally scheduled to be completed in 2020, but got delayed. As usual, right? Despite always laughing at the concept of flying cars, he plans to launch one soon. <laughs> Sounds funny, right? Aside from this, the future Tesla Roadster sparks automobile revolution hopes. Should you now expect a flying car soon after all? Now that the claims and hints are offered by Musk. To answer this, let's look at what the Tesla Roadster can do. Adding a new Tesla Roadster to the Roadster lineage would be an exciting addition to the family tradition. It will replace the original nameplate worn by the first model. In 2017, when Musk first unveiled the concept, it gave some vague impressions about its performance. Now its goal is to present it as a halo vehicle that will wipe out fuel-powered vehicles. Further, Tesla's latest version of the Roadster might have you wondering what sets it apart. This crazy expensive Roadster would be able to reach 60 miles per hour in just 1.1 seconds, despite its ridiculously high price tag of $200,000. Additionally, a 620 mile range would be available along with a top speed of 250 miles per hour. Could that be any more insane? But wait, there's more. Moreover, Musk announced that the newest Tesla model will be a special edition of SpaceX. So how is that gonna work? Let's dig into the rocket science behind a flying car. The notion of lifting Tesla's Roadster seems quite similar to the one envisioned by Doc Brown's time machine hovering above the ground. Cold gas thrusters would be installed on the car to boost its performance and enable it to fly, though it will only be able to fly for a short time, meaning that it won't be a fully-fledged flying vehicle, but will certainly be able to float above the ground. Meanwhile, how will the thruster lift a car and what does it do? The car won't burn these but would be accelerated by pressurized cold air which would give an extra burst of acceleration. Furthermore, Musk is planning to use a key component of SpaceX's most popular rocket, the Falcon 9, as a tank designated as an overwrapped composite pressure vessel. In addition, it has an aluminum liner covered in carbon fiber that makes it lightweight. Using these is an excellent way to keep pressurized air in a small space. Using these, Musk plans to use thrusters in the Tesla Roadster. Therefore, they'd be assigned to blow air out in the back end or front end of the car, thus propelling or stopping it. He intends to mount 10 small thrusters around the car in a way that better accelerates, brakes, corners, and even allows them to fly due to the high velocity and momentum. Moreover, Elon stated that the car will also produce 3 tons of thrust, which is enough to lift it a few meters off the ground. So what are the chances of a flying car reaching the highway? In a city with a lot of traffic, the Tesla Roadster would hover just a few meters above ground due to thrusters, and this makes people wonder whether the idea will work on a busy street. Naturally, no one wants to be hit by a car traveling at an insane speed. Additionally, commercial cars have never been modified this way. Therefore, Musk's plan to convert cars into road-going spaceships by fitting them with rocket thrusters seems a bit absurd. Certainly a rough road, but when you're talking about Elon Musk, nothing is impossible. For instance, the company's first battery-driven Roadster build showed that electric motors could last. Meanwhile, there will be a new version which, if it will be made into a reality, will radically change everything. Furthermore, the product itself, and every other product out there, would be revolutionized. Also, the idea appeared like a fantasy when announced initially. But today we have automobiles like the Remac Nevera that can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.85 seconds. Considering Tesla's 1.1 second speed claim at the same time, it'd be very interesting to see that if it can be beaten. However, when would this be possible? It is known that the general public, especially car enthusiasts, have been eagerly anticipating news of the upcoming wonder. Since its announcement, the Tesla Roadster has already been delayed multiple times. In 2017, it was announced, then delayed to 2020, and then rescheduled to 2023. This will only occur if 2022 does not become a downturning year, as Musk stated. However, with all the speculation surrounding it, we are hopeful that it'll be worth it. However, as for the possibilities, mm, there are many. Currently, things are on hold, but who knows? Maybe a Tesla Roadster will take off in 2023. So, do you think Tesla will introduce its second generation of Roadsters in 2023? Could they fly as well? Could this change the game in the EV industry? Let us know your thoughts about it in the comments below. That's all for this video about the first flying vehicle from Elon Musk and Tesla. This could be a game changer. And thank you for watching.
If you would like to receive updates on Elon Musk and his companies, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.